In this tutorial, we'll continue looking at depth of field settings. And well, since what I really like about computer graphics is animation, well, guess what we're going to do? Yes, we're going to animate. All right. So what will, what will we animate? We're going to animate the depth of field. So you can give a you know kind of a camera focusing effect. So let's do this. Let's we'll keep the focus. Let's see how we're we going to do this. We need to change this up so we can animate between the cone in focus and the cube in focus. Now in order to do that, I'm going to have to look at something else. I'm going to have to add, say, we'll go into, uh, where is my view? Okay, let me get out of here and get with it. All right, I'm in material mode. And I'll show you what I have the camera looking at right now. The camera currently is looking at this empty object like this. And that's it's that's just my view in the scene down here where I'm having the depth of field set is under focus I'm focusing on here but I'm actually looking towards that there so I want to maintain my look at that empty so I'll keep my camera in place but let me add a new empty to the scene okay and I'm gonna call this empty focus point like that okay so and then with the camera selected I'm gonna actually pick the empty focus point instead of focusing on that I want to focus on that so to change the depth of field of course what we're gonna do is we'll first move this focus point well, let's go into let's see where it's located in the scene let's go that's above alright so I'm gonna make my focus point up here basically I'll just kind of put it in line with this basically where my camera is sitting like that and then I'm gonna grab a timeline and it say frame one I'm gonna set a location oh well hang on before I do that so first let me move into the side view and see how high up I am in the scene I'll bring it down to here let me ortho mode one Oh, you know, see, when I press 1, I can't see that through that plane. So if you press Control 1, you'll see it from oh, the other side. Well, I can't really see it because it's, I can't see the plane there. But there it is there. All right, so now I know it's in the scene at that general location. All right, so then I'm going to press that as, I'm going to keyframe that. I'll press I. I'll give that a location keyframe. And then maybe up here at frame 60. I'll take it and move it down here. Let me look at it from the side again. I'll do Control One. All right, and then I want to have it approximately located at the uh, cube. I better be in ortho mode. All right, so there it is there, and I'll kind of move it over so it's essentially at that, following that line, like that. Doesn't have to be perfect, but. All right, so I think you get the idea. And so from there, that location, I'll set that as a location keyframe as well. All right. So really all I'm doing is I'm changing the uh, focus point for the camera as I go through. Okay, then let's see. Let's go back into rendered mode real quick. We'll go down here to frame zero. And let's see. We have the camera. Let's go select the camera. Make sure we have the empty focus point set. I have a f-stop of 11. Let's give it a shallow depth of field, like I talked about in the previous lesson, 2.8. And we'll keep the blur up there. Let me press F12 and see what happens. So there we go. They're in rendered mode. There it is like that. And then frame 60 was the other direction. So let's move up to frame 60. And there it is there. And then there it would be in between like that. And there in between like that and that. And that I mean I could do the whole rendering but well you know what blender so doggone fast with GPU rendering that I'm just gonna come down here and change the preview to 10 it's, it's enough to just give us an idea and then I probably could just work through this on the timeline and let's see how it changes Oh no not gonna do it it's gonna have to stop at each one so all right I'm gonna change my preview back up to 30 all right what well, I think you have the idea so all you have to do is create your animation now 
and you would see that your depth of field is changing as it goes down like that. All right? All right, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.